the majority of your nervous system is not connected in your brain, but it's connected in your gut. Hello, and we say good day to you at this moment of your time. We are the Paying Council. We speak on behalf of a galactic lion supporting your world in this process of ascension. Today, my question is about how can people live longer and happier and more healthily? Living happily is synonymous with living well and longer because it is the balance of your own emotional state of being that will allow for your body to be more resilient, will allow for your body to be more well oriented and thrive. We want to speak first of that which ages your body. It is stress. Stress is the number one factor that leads to problems like inflammation, like overstimulated nervous systems that lead to cancer, that leads to many other sorts of imbalances. And stress is something that you can influence in a variety of ways. Also, we have to comment as well that what you eat and the air that you breathe and the water that you drink plays a big role in your longevity also. So to eat fresh and organic, as you call it now, food, and not eat too much, to eat a balanced diet, to have optimal digestion most of the time, to get adequate protein, to have fresh and pure water, to breathe clean air and breathe deeply, are all ways that your body gets everything it needs and does not accumulate toxins that lead to deterioration. And this also helps you to combat stress. And your digestion is incredibly important as the majority of your nervous system is not connected in your brain, but it's connected in your gut. And it is here where your body is able to adapt to different experiences that you have with great ease. And it's also deeply connected with your inner knowing. This is what you call your gut instinct. You feel it at this deep level. It's at this level you know what you want and what you don't. What calls to you and what doesn't. And this plays a huge role in whether or not you feel well and at ease. Living at ease is the key. Okay, so tell us about the formula. The formula will absolutely ensure your quality of life, but also extend your life. This formula is to act on your highest passion to the best of your ability with no insistence on a particular outcome. Somebody who is following their passion and who is taking care of their body with the right water, air, food, and exercise will have a powerful resilience to experience stress, yet nonetheless feel relaxed and calm at the end of the day. Those who carry the stress in their bodies and they don't sleep right and they don't rest and they can't feel that deeper satisfaction will age quicker and they will experience all sorts of health complications along the way. So happiness is not a frivolous choice. Happiness is the most life extending choice and the most health giving choice that you can make. It's not a sacrifice when you give up conventional pathways 
to find what makes you uniquely happy because in the end of the day, you gain greater health and greater resilience in the challenging at times journey of your life. Okay. You mentioned about the gut and scientists have noticed that the neural activity in the gut is in some ways equivalent to the neural activity of the brain as if it's a second brain in our gut. Can you explain more about what is that neural activity that is sort of brain-like that takes place in our, I think, the large intestine? Food is your source of energy and your gut absorbs this life force from the food and turns it into consciousness. So as you've said, you are what you eat and you are not just what you eat, but your how what you eat digests as the stress that you might experience comes to affect your digestion, slowing down the process and not all of what you consider toxins come into your body from the outside. Many toxins are created from within your body when you experience stress. Some are the simple stress hormones like cortisol itself, which at high doses can cause inflammation in your system. And by doses, we don't mean something again outside of you. We mean the experience of large degrees of stress, essentially dosing your system with cortisol. But also the stress affects your digestion and slows down the process, preventing food from fully digesting and thus creating an inflammation in the digestion that affects these neuroreceptors that then affects the entire nervous system. And this can impede your mental clarity and decision making because yes, the gut is a crucial part of your greater mental body, you could say. All right. Well, thanks very much. Do you have any concluding remarks you'd like to say? We've spoken very much about the importance of the happiness and following your heart and a bit about the diet. And we would also say that there's a certain importance to your daily rhythm. And essentially the most important thing is that you get enough sleep. Some people might find that they deviate from the typical circadian rhythms that would have you sleeping from 10 p.m. till 6 a.m. Though uh, that seven to nine hours of sleep is essential and to follow it with a certain degree of a rhythm and routine and make sure that you eat enough at the right times eating throughout the day and never letting yourself get to a point of being hungry to the degree that you don't have mental clarity. This is very, very important to your health as well. The other component is also the way that you hold your posture and exercise your body. You don't need to be athletic to maintain good health, but you do need to have good posture and you do need to have a light or moderate degree of exercise depending on your constitution to keep the body systems functioning optimally. So this is crucial to your health as well. And you will find that when you master that path of doing what excites you, you will know the best rhythm for your own body and you will know the best ways to exercise your body. For some it might be walking or jogging or swimming. Others might love the gym. Others might love yoga or karate. It doesn't really matter. What matters is that it brings you joy because again that is the most important level of medicine and wellness. Well, thanks. Thank you for bringing us the Palladium perspective on how to live long and happy and healthy. Oh, well, great. Thanks to you as well. On the spaceship of Babel, we are guiding through the stars on a five-year mission.
Of a minor with the strangeness of a quark, you can hear us on the phone as we whisper in the dark. 